blue collar guns and gear wanted to talk a little bit about ammo today and how I accumulate ammo and how I buy it and for stockpiling for practicing or whatever and here is how I do it um, I do not buy bulk ammo I have bought bulk ammo before but I usually do not buy ammo in bulk uh, I look for good deals and I'm not very impulsive when I see stuff uh, I'm not gonna pay fifty dollars for a box of 22's um, I just look for deals and I accumulate over time this stuff here you know I bought maybe over the last four months or so I don't know um, just the last few months little by little um, this is all 762 by 39 back here is monarch steel case that I was finding up at Academy for 519 a box it's not the best price I've ever found but it's not bad uh, when you order it online when you add shipping charges and everything it's, it's a decent price but I was picking up anywhere from three to six boxes at a time and I have a little bit more actually I've only been buying that stuff for about three months but you know when I had an extra twenty dollars in my pocket I would I would grab four boxes of it or yeah about you know three or four boxes and there's 360 rounds right there that I've just accumulated little by little uh, this red army stuff is supposed to be good ammo that's another 360 rounds that I actually I traded for that um, I had a I got out of a caliber and traded it off for that stuff there and got a really really good deal on that uh, I've heard that it's really good stuff I've read that it's really good stuff and I hope it is um, these nine nine millimeter these are hundred round boxes right here I bought one of them at Academy one of them at Walmart if memory serves me well and just a uh, hundred rounds at a time just one box here couple weeks later grab another box same thing with these bulk 22's found those for a really good deal that's 525 rounds of Remington that I think I paid twenty dollars for it when I found it and I was like well that's good that's about a nickel around that's what I was used to paying for it before the panic in 2013 uh, some little little 50 round boxes of federal 22 I've been finding at Academy for I think three ninety nine a box. I just grabbed a couple of boxes, and a couple of weeks later, if I'm back, I'll grab two more boxes. I have I have a lot of this stuff. I have thousands and thousands of rounds of twenty two. I just grab a little bit at a time, and it accumulates. All right, these twenty gauges back here, hundred round boxes right now at Walmart. Um, they're two and three quarter inch seven and a half shot multi-purpose load for twenty one ninety seven I bought this one a couple of weeks ago and I bought this one today so that's two hundred rounds of twenty gauge for forty four forty five dollars with tax something like that uh, forty caliber I shoot a lot of forty caliber um, uh, also you know with nine millimeter and one box at a time I was picking that up for really cheap at Walmart at one time it's gone up a little bit now but at one time it was like $25 a box and so I probably got 15 boxes of that stored away just some 270s that's the cheapest federal 270 that I can find for my for, to deer hunt with one box at a time it's always been really good accurate ammo I've, I've killed a lot of deer with that blue box federal the cheap stuff I've killed a lot of deer with that stuff um, anyway all of this stuff is it's been accumulated over time it looks like a lot it's a few thousand rounds I mean just the 9 and the 40 is 500 rounds you got 720 rounds of 762 by 39 sitting there you've got close to a thousand rounds of 22 there uh, I, it's 200 rounds of 20 gauge there's a lot of ammo there 
well it would seem like a lot but it's not it's easy to accumulate ammo if you just buy it a little bit at a time we're blue collar people I'm a blue collar guy I don't just have five hundred dollars sitting around every week to go buy a huge store of ammo so I have to I have to be smart about it just buy a little bit at a time but I'm just this is a small example this is nothing compared to my entire stockpile what I have in ammo cans stored up it's absolutely nothing and all of my ammo I buy a little bit at a time so I'm just trying to give you some ideas of how I do it when I just practice with a rifle I'm just you know practicing some of the stuff that I've learned in, in training or or whatever it just plinking 22 is the way to go for me as far as that go I can practice anything I want to practice as far as shooting a rifle with a 22 if you have a 22 pistol that much better it's cheap to shoot uh, it's abundant good way to practice all this stuff you know maybe 10 or 20 bucks every time maybe 25 I never spend more than $25 at a time when I'm buying ammo uh, if I do it's it's not every day or every week and I don't even buy ammo every week I buy it every couple weeks or whatever but I always want more I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it I have a certain amount that I like to stay above here's another thing I wanted to share with you like 762 by 39 I love the caliber I shoot a lot of it and it's my it's my go-to rifle. I keep at least 3,000 rounds minimum. And I'm probably about to raise that to 5,000 rounds because I have over 5,000 rounds of it stored up in various places. Um, I do not keep my guns or my ammo all in the same spot. I keep it spread out in different places. If something was to ever happen to it in one place, I've got plenty more elsewhere. But anyway, keep a certain amount you know whatever your magic number is say if your magic number is a thousand rounds of ammo accumulate a thousand rounds and then start shoot only shoot what you have above that amount once you get over a thousand rounds say you end up accumulating 1500 rounds but a thousand rounds is your magic number you have 500 rounds to practice with or shoot or hunt or do whatever you do with it and always stay above that magic number and you will always have ammo you'll always be comfortable at least uh, if there's ever another panic there could be later on in the year this is an election year uh, stay comfortable now is a good time to get ammo it's on the shelves it's affordable it's not as affordable as it once was but it is affordable um, these little guys here are moisture absorbers that you can get out of shipping packaging and stuff um, I'm I work in electrical maintenance and when they ship ballast to us for our lights you know there's a certain company that always sends these moisturizer absorbers these moisture absorbers in their ballasts and it's just it's just packing material people throw these away all the time these are free I have tons of these I stick them in my ammo cans keep my powder dry it can only help um, it's a good idea to have some and if you know someone that works in a warehouse or you know they work in shipping or whatever they may have some of these and they may throw them away on a daily basis get them if you can they're good to have um, but anyway I'm just trying to get some ideas I'd love to hear your ideas on ammo how you get it where you get it um, how you store it what are your theories or, or you know on stockpiling or whatever I have a large number on certain calibers because I have multiple weapons in that caliber I have four different rifles that shoot 762 by 39 so I want to have a certain amount for each rifle and that's just the way I do it and if you have any ideas please share them with me and I'd love to I'll, I'll share anything I know or any ideas I have with you uh, it's good stuff to know information is key and we're all in this together we're trying to help each other out it can be an expensive hobby but anyway uh, i appreciate you watching y'all come see us